Hey everyone, it is early February. We are up here in the Brainerd Lakes area. We're gonna hit Gull Lake today. Got Reggie with me right there. It is uh, currently snowing and one degree out and there's a lot of snow on the lake. And yesterday we got stuck out on North Long Lake so we're gonna try not to do that today. We're taking turns, it's a lot of work. My name is Randy. You're watching Go Midwest Fishing. You're supposed to go like, see? <laughs> <laughs> check this out the ice looks kind of like it's all broken up here not sure if I should be driving over it it's Reggie over here Let's see what's he doing Check out that stuff Ooh, she's a windy cold day I can't see anything and you don't want to get off the road because it's like two feet of snow Reggie's checking out a spot for us. You don't really want to get off the road right now because it literally is thick snow with these big uh, berms they've uh, plowed. And uh, you don't want to go over those. I got stuck on them yesterday. <laughs> but we're trying to find a spot. We can't see anything because it's like a whiteout. set up I put the camera down it's awesome perch and a northern we're up on a hump it's it's only eight feet deep right here all the other guys are down in the deeper 30 feet water looking for walleye and stuff and uh, we just stopped here because it's the only spot we can find with a flat spot that we could actually park into all right are you trying for perch or for northern me yeah I don't know I could catch well, that northern yeah he's a little one but I think if I put a little Minnow on this thing. Oh, here comes the northern. <laughs> Looking at it. The hole's icing over real quick. It's more interested in the camera. Well, that's a good shot of him. He doesn't bite off my good lure. Ah, that northern came right, as soon as I put my bait down, he came right up to it. It's got a little crappie minnow on. There's perch down there too, so I thought I'd catch both. Oh, oh, oh he just hit the camera. <laughs> He's biting the camera. But I only got you know, three or four pound line on here, so hopefully he doesn't rip off my good bait. Oh, here he's coming back. He's on the fish finder anyway. Oh, nope, that's a perch. Is it a bluegill? What the heck is it? Oh, got him! Is it a perch? Yep. Little perch. First one. Been here, what, five minutes? All right, first fish of the day. About a five inch perch. He's down there by your. Oh, here he comes. Yep. Got him. Oh, I hooked the northern. I'm on like, it's a three pound line. There you are, buddy. Come here. Okay. It's not too bad. Oh, that bad. Oh. oh, I got him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> got that on my tiny little jig pole. Not bad. All right, buddy. We'll let you free.
Oh yeah, here comes a whole bunch of them. Yeah, there are tons the of them in there. Oh, he just swing and a miss. There, I got one. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, I can see him coming up on my scope. Oh, he's tiny. Oh, yeah. He is tiny. Oh my gosh. Oh my God! Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you caught him. Yeah, it's going. He's a little bigger. Oh, you got another one. Wait, what the heck is that? I got a fish. Oh, you do got... <laughs> I was like, why do it look like a fish coming up? There he goes. Well, they're a lot more aggressive than yesterday. Yeah. Well, these perch are usually... They're pretty aggressive fish anyway. Yeah. Low down. Six inches. <coughs> Six inch perch down there. Look at that monster. It is. Biggest one yet, I think. For a bit. Perch, yeah. Yeah. If I hold it real close, does it get bigger? Alright, even though that was a lot of fun catching all these little guys, we, we need to find some bigger fish, so uh, we're only in eight, ten feet of water. We're going to go out and see if we can't find some 20, 30 feet of water. So right by these other shacks, we had just past some of those. Let's see if we can't find a spot. As you can see, it's kind of a whiteout, and uh, it's hard to even see where you're driving on the roads. Not as deep as I thought. She's right out here. All right, here's our new spot. Just went out further. It kind of is, I mean, a super steep drop. It goes down to like 60 feet. And according to the Navionics map, we're trying to find that edge at about 20, 30 feet. And well, it looks like we're in about 12 feet, I think it said 13. Top of the ice, probably around 15 feet. So maybe need to go out a little further yet, but we're kind of in line with a few other shacks here. For a mic jet? I think so. You know what? I might even go for a Coors. I need. You no, know, I don't want to drink your whole stash, a... though. Huh? I don't want to drink your stash. I need it to be super cold. I'll have to go set mine outside. For yeah, the Rockies aren't. They're blue, well, sort of. There he is. Boom. Got him again. All right, this ain't going to cut it. If We'll give it a half hour and if we can't find something bigger. This, this, I have minnows in my bucket bigger than this. <laughs> Himself. Right. You gotta come up. I, don't, I think we should move out a little deeper and see if we can find something bigger to play with. I've caught enough now on board. Alright, since the maps are slightly off, we're gonna move again, but we're gonna go by there's a whole pile of shacks over there. I don't need you like pulling up next to that, but we're gonna go close to those guys. And if that doesn't work, then we'll go find our own spot out in the middle, but uh, they must know where the fish are, so we're going to go there. All right, if my calculations are right, we are right on a 30-foot drop here, right before it drops into like 60 feet. There's a big shallow area, it's like six feet deep, it's like a big hump right in the middle, and everyone's kind of positioned right around it. Fish. Here come all the perch. Yep, got him. That didn't take long. So I thought we we're gonna be in 30 feet of water and we're in 23, that's below the ice, so probably about 25 feet of water. And uh, more perch. 
Not a lot of people catch a lot of crappies and stuff out here. I haven't seen one yet. Last time I was here, we actually did catch a lot of crappies. Can't remember where we were though. Oh yeah. Nice job. Yeah, hold them out like this. Yeah, yeah, that's that a big one. Yeah. Oh, the phone almost went down the hole. Oh, there's fish. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's got a good one. Oh, look at that. Now we got a pile. Good oh, one. Shit. Huh? Oh, wow. Like this. Wow, oh my fish. god. Wow. I told you he's small. <laughs> he's right on the bottom, huh? Yeah, he's at 30. Oh, he's Still at 30. a bunch there. He's he's there. there. Go get more. <laughs> Wayne. Hey, they're getting bigger. Another little one. Getting Come on, bigger. man. Took some doing to get here, but we blazed a trail. Got a 21 foot spot. Bottom looks the same. We got some perch swimming around, and uh, we're just gonna sit here for the rest of the night, I think, and hopefully a walleye or something will come through. Look at that thing. You're not supposed to eat a bait that's as big as yourself. It's a ghoul lake. Uh, ghoul. Ghoul lake. Ghoul lake's a pretty good lake. Uh, I know there's good crappie here and some walleye. I caught some last time. This time all we saw was perch and what, one northern? You could have at least Yeah. Honestly. It was a fun lake anyway. Um, we're fishing around the Brainerd Lakes area, so uh, we just went to North Long Lake. You can check that video out right there. Otherwise, see all the lakes we fished in Minnesota right over here in the playlist. All right, now to see if we can get off the lake without getting stuck. Here we go, swinging around to the right. Back on the tracks, though. 